Yo. What is up? What is up? We are here. We are ready. Got my coffee. I think I've got all the instruments that I need. I'll be right with y'all. Woo! We're here. We've done it. 
What is good? How is the world? Lights very bright in my face. How are you? Welcome to the Twitch stream. We're doing a thing. We're twitching. We're streaming. All the all the all the goodness. Ugh. I was up very late last night working. So I uh Woke up early this morning to do more work. We're getting to the final, the final countdown for this baboon crowdfunder next week. Next week, official launch date, October 18th. Next Tuesday. I'm going to try to figure out something special to do on the stream for that day. So that's good. That'll be fun. Um... So yeah, that's, that's the thing. That's what I've been working on, trying to figure out everything, getting everything like situated in, in the right space. I do have a link that I can put into the chat. Um, that sounds like a good idea. So that's what I'm gonna do. Can I write in the chat? There we go, there we go. It is proud. Thunder.com forward slash bow tie press. Because you know how I do. I wear bow ties at conventions and all that stuff. So yeah, there's the there's the link to the pre-launch page if you are interested. In Move some stuff over. There we go. Give some mic a little more room. Uh, if you're interested in anything I'm doing. That's the link. Go go check that out. Uh, today we are going to be doing some Inktober drawing. And that's Inktober and then a page of Lorenzo Colt. That's kind of how I'm going to be doing it for the every time I stream this month is instead of doing two pages of Lorenzo Colt a month, we're going to only do our two pages a week. We're only going to do one. That way I can spend a good amount of time doing the Inktober on stream as well. Uh, so without further ado, let's just, let's just get right on into it. Ooh. Now I did move. I, I'm slowly still adjusting, figuring things out, adjusting just the tiniest little bits, getting the street set up. It's perfect as it can be. I brought this overhead mic, or this overhead cam, over a little bit more. Um, so yeah, that's a thing. We're good. Here's the script that I have. Uh, do we are on page four? We're on the second part of page four. Uh, what this is, what this is saying, is uh, Jamie flings his arm and stretches, grabbing onto something. Right. He's being pulled by the witch, and then uh, then he rubber bands back, and the witch flings off. That's the that's the joke. So, I think what he's going to be sliding on. Figure out a way to fling the arm. Probably put it all in. Uh, thought balloons. I like thought balloons. I know they're a little uh, cliche, a little taboo in the normal modern comic book culture. But you know what? Characters got to think. So I'm going to put some thought balloons in this. Yo, in Rivers, what is up? How are you? I hope you're doing well. Talking about thought balloons and how I'm going to put them in this strip.
Gotta find something solid. recently watched a 30 minute 37 minute video about thought balloons and what was the conclusion This panel is going to be really fun. Have a good like stretch from her. Also good. Yeah, they, <laughs> they used to be used all the time. I really, I really enjoy thought balloons. I think they're fun and uh, can often lead to a good, like, story beat stuff. Now, alas, alack, they are not in vogue. Uh, because they it gave way, they they stopped doing it. I think because it looked cheesy, and then they put the caption boxes instead of word uh, instead of like thought balloons. So like if you look at any modern uh, Batman book, he is still monologuing, right? He's still thinking in his head, but it's done in captions. I guess to give it a more literary look. Um, but I don't know. Uh, I, who knows?
Yeah, but when Batman starts monologuing, it's so clearly Batman, right? Dark Knight uses that a lot. And then, like, Sin City also. It's a, I think Frank Miller really popularized the constant uh, the constant use or the, the not take, like, thought bubble thing. Captions haven't necessarily meant narrator in a really long time. It's not right. That might act. I typically think of uh. All right. This is a weird
this is tricky. This is tricky. My day is going well. Um, I woke up at eight. I went to bed around two last night. I worked until 1130 last night, getting everything kind of situated for the launch of the baboon next week. So I'm a little sleepy. He says as he yawns. Luckily, I have a copious amount of coffee at my, at my disposal. So yeah, um, it's good. I woke up, I read a little bit. I finished Apollo's song, which is a uh, Osama Tezuka comic. Finished that this morning with my initial cup of coffee. And then I got to work. And I've been kind of working ever since. Working on overlays for the Twitch stream. Working on uh, getting everything still. Like working on emails. Getting everything set up for this uh, thing. If you scroll to the top of your chat. If you scroll to the top of chat. I put the link for the uh, crowdfunder in the chat. Nice. Now, is this your account or is this uh, somebody else's account that you're following? Patreon's a super cool site. I have yet to figure out how to make it, how to get it to work for me, but it does for other people. Real Kirby's. Oh, Mike stuff is great. I met Mike once. Uh, I don't know if he still lives over in Tampa area, but he used to live over in the Tampa area. We do a lot of conventions over there. That's where I was. I love Mike's work. Cleopatra in space. That good jazz. Yeah, his stuff is his stuff is fantastic. He's got such a great uh, flow flow state. I don't know if that's necessarily the right word. He's got a great a great line. I'll just say line.
what? I am not going to put a border on this. I'm not going to put a border on this middle panel. Leave it open. I gotta find my amps. Oh no, I don't. This, this is all, he's, he's all bendy. Right. Write this out. Don't have to write, don't have to break out the Ames lettering guide. Question is, what is he gonna say right here? Gotta be something like. says like um oh, ah my hands can still wiggle now if i can catch hold of something now if i could only oh something that's that's better how do you use that the aims lettering guide let me show you <laughs> let me find it and then let me show you it was right next to me. Didn't even have to find it. Here, we'll just go ahead. We'll, we'll go in and use it right here. If I can find my T-square. Oh. All right. How to use an... Using a le Ames lettering guide. First, get all the junk that's on your table off your table. It's too much junk, you don't need it. Okay, now he says, ha, huh, let me rewrite this. Ha, huh, my hand, and still wiggle. If I could only hold of some. Take your T-square. Let's redo this. How to use a name's lettering guide. 
You take your T-squared. I have mine tapes because this is the size in which I like my holes. So the way these work is you have hole, and then it has another hole right here, but it has a loop. So you use just the loops. Right, and then you go down to the other one. Go down. Skip this hole, go to the other. And then when you want to have more, line these up. Hole. Hole, skip that hole, go to the other. So that gives you perfectly ruled out uh, lettering grids. So then I just go in and write, ah, my hand and fill wiggle. Now, if I could only catch. I think I messed up the lettering guide. <laughs> so I messed up the lettering guide. This is where it gets tricky and I didn't catch myself doing it. So there we go. I, I put the wrong, there we go. If only I can hold. There we go, bubble. And then, well, so it's a really simple tool, um, and that's how you get straight lines for your uh, your lettering. Hey, Sam Blue, how are you? And there you go. A lettered panel. There we go, there we go. Working on the other end.
So there you go. Now we ink. This may be the longest uh, Inktober drawing. It took me 40 minutes to do that. <laughs> this one third of a page. actually need to get paper. It's my last week day printing off. The Lorenzo Colt strip for today. Hey, Arnian, how are you? Thanks for coming in. Thanks for popping by. together just a couple of inktober buddies Working on Inktober today, and then uh, hopefully the 17th page of Lorenzo Colt. We're going to ink that up. Shouldn't take terribly, terribly long. It's a pretty sparse page. But for the month of October, I've been trying to do two pages of Lorenzo Colt a week. 
but we've built up such a strong lead on the strip that I am going to only do one a week because of Inktober. So we're going to do basically the next couple of trips, the next couple of weeks will just be the Inktober strip and then the one page of Lorenzo Colt. Although I have a, a a grip of pages. No, that's that's what it's gonna. Be. I'm gonna be good to myself and just say that's how that's how we're doing it. Unless like one of the Inktober's takes two seconds, right? Like, for instance, the one on Sunday, I think, literally took me thirty minutes. That would probably be a two a two day Lorenzo Colt page. Heck, Thursday might be two days. Oh, I, I probably will be, I will probably still be streaming after, after your meeting, unless your meeting is an hour long. But we don't know. Who knows? You did a quick, I must confess, I did a quick one yesterday because first episode of a new anime season premiered. What is, what, first off, what anime? Second off, that's fine. That's, uh. No confession needed. I am not your Catholic priest. I am just a humble cartoonist. Oh, a little bit of bleach. Were we not talking about that? Last stream. Are you being a bleach fan? That's awesome. I'm glad. I'm glad it looks good. I'm glad you're happy. Great. Yeah, I'll if it's only a half an hour, I will definitely still be on. I Like I said, went to bed at 11 or I stopped working. I didn't go to bed. I went to bed at two o'clock this morning and then was up at eight to get back to work but I uh, I was working until 11:30 last night got to watch most of my good friend Freya is a cat stream though and that was fun so I was doing a lot of work and they were up there doing their thing playing Alien Isolation. Screaming into microphones. Scaring the crap out of me every time there's, you know, screaming. You know a ton of people who worked on Alien Isolation. That's awesome. It looked like a really fun game.
I'm also a fan of the Alien franchise. So, it piqued my interest. Not that I have time to play video games, especially right now. I've been thinking about if this uh, crowdfunder goes well, I might treat myself to uh, No Man's Sky. Is that the name of the game? Big open world space game. It's out on Switch. Every, the reviews have been pretty good. The port has been lauded as a fantastic port. Ah, you won't even have to catch it on replay. You'll be able to catch it on YouTube. Need to be uploading more things to YouTube now. Every now and then I get a real kick to do a, a to play a do-whatever-you-want kind of game. I'm typically a... I, my favorite game is Mega Man. Mega Man 3. I really like uh, Transistor. is a great game, too. I really like Transistor. But... Actually, everything Supergiant does, I'm a big fan of. I like roguelikes. I like I, I like I like arcadey style games. But uh, every now and then I get a I get a hankering. I put a lot of time into Skyrim when it came out originally. But Skyrim's not my kind of game. Yeah, you are subscribed. I saw. I saw. Thank you. You want to see something fun that I haven't entirely figured out how to do yet? Uh, no, never mind. I'm going to keep it a secret. thought I was going to show you something fun, but no, I'm not. Um, figuring out how to do interview stuff. I've made an overlay that I think is pretty fun. Yeah, isn't that the... Isn't that the way it goes? I don't read a lot of comics now that I make comics for a living. I kind of don't do a lot of anything else. <laughs> I, I make comics. <laughs> That's about it. Last game I played was Earthbound. I had some time. I was able to kind of dedicate time to playing the game. Not really having to focus on anything else. And 
I loved it. Thought it was such a, such a good game. Fun story. Yeah, it's a little different though. Right, playing games for playtest purposes versus playing games for fun purposes. That is super cool though. The majority of comics I read are all like my friends' comics. I'm not going to the store every <laughs> every week and picking up like the latest issue of stuff. I read stuff if friends send me stuff. I'm also changing my stream. I am not going to be streaming on Thursdays. Um, I'm going to be streaming on Fridays. So I think that's a better day for everybody. Um, definitely analytically is better. So we're going to switch that around. Yeah, good. Okay. Great. That's I'm glad I'm glad that it that works out. There's also something about streaming on a Friday. I don't know. It, there's there's something really nice about it. It kind of feels like I've rounded off a week. Now here I am, and it Friday evening, doing some fun stuff. That's so great, though. I get my socials at uh, Drink and Draw. <laughs> kind of my one, it's kind of my social time. Although today is Tuesday, I will go hang out with some friends today. And I try to take Wednesdays off, but right now I don't have that luxury, <laughs> right? Um, I'm all, I'm all like business prep mode, but I will probably be writing tomorrow and not necessarily drawing. I'll do my Inktober and that's about it. But I don't have drink and draw tomorrow, so that kind of frees up my evening. It is. It is super, super fun. Um, we have a great time. It is It's grown to be such kind of a big event now. Uh, 
when you get 30 people <laughs> all in one place. It's, it's a little different than kind of a, a big networking event, which is what I wanted it to be in the first place. But, whew, hosting that kind of thing sometimes can get a little daunting. But I've made some really, really great friends doing it, so. Yeah, not much to complain about. Yeah, yeah, that's, it's, it's my event. Which is fun. But it definitely changes the way in which uh, you approach it, right? It's not just a relaxing thing, it's an actual... Uh, it's kind of work. You know, and you meet a lot of people, and then you gotta rem remember names. I used to be good at remembering names, and then I got bad at it and then I got good at it again and now I'm now I'm back to being bad at it I think I've kind of become a little too lax I need to get better at it I need to really uh, push myself at the next drink and draw Get back to being the host I once was. <laughs> was a little ghost hosty. All right, I'm I'm kind of really digging this uh, <laughs> this this page, this, this these panels.
Então... Question is, do I want to do this in brush or pen? Probably pen. It will be easier. It'll be quick. Oh. It's tricky you sh if it's not happening around you. You know what I'm going to say. The person, the person who needs to start it is you. <laughs> And it doesn't even have to be big, right? You can just make some. You've got a couple of friends, invite them out, say, hey, let's do a drink and draw. We're going to go to said place. We're going to just set up and drink and draw. slowly grow from there. I was lucky enough that the 
So I was asked to run one, to run it by the comic shop and the bar right next door to the comic shop. So that made it a lot easier. And uh, the people who run the bar, the bar manager and uh, one of the one of the bartenders there, the one of the bartenders there is my best friend. And uh, the bar manager there is one of my closest friends here in town as well. So I'm very close with everybody who works there. Uh, so it just kind of happened. Um, but finding people that you want to hang out with is definitely a thing. Two hours away. Oh, no. Yeah, that stinks. Make a Facebook group, I guess. That's the only thing. I don't know. Uh, talk to, I mean, talk to a local bar or, or brewery or something. I don't know where you are and what kind of the climate is around there. But uh, put up a poster. Put up a poster and then host a thing. <laughs> Sometimes it's as easy as that. That's just about as much work as I did, as I put up a poster and, and said I'm doing a thing. And people showed up. It was miraculous. Alright, we've been streaming for about an hour. I'm going to take a little bit of a break, and I'll be right back, and we will ink up uh, some Lorenzo, uh, Lorenzo Cult page. Be right back. Where is the be right back screen?
this song has strong Kirby vibes, but also Sonic vibes. But I gotta say, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of the mixture. Page 17. Let's get get to looking at what this thing looks like. All right. So I have one panel here. This is coming into focus. This panel and this panel are the same. This panel, this panel, and this panel are all the same panel. However, it's various uh, levels of coming into focus. That's the doo -doo 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 -doo. That's the way it is. So, let's just get into it. So, I drew the panel and then spliced it into, and then just uh, copied and pasted it. So I don't have to draw everything in these panels. I just have to uh, make it, you know, more detail. Every page, every panel. Every time I do this, where I, ooh, gosh, that was a whistle. Uh, every time I do this, the, where I ink with a brush for, you know, an hour doing regular baboon stuff and ink over, and then I come in and come back to doing Lorenzo Colt. Always weird switching back over to a pen. I don't typically draw with pen one of the reasons why I was doing this book like this. a weird feeling to switch back and forth between materials. Now this is definitely Sonic inspired, right? It could also be Mega Man. There are certain levels of Mega Man that have this kind of vibe, but. You have a brush pen or two that, I have a brush pen or two that I, could start out with. I don't like brush pens. <laughs> I have found, or at least I haven't found a brush pen that I do like. I guess this is technically a brush pen, right? This is a zebra brush pen. These are nice, but it took me a really long time to get the right feel with it. I love a brush. But brush pens and me have never gotten along. I'm not sure why. The 
Pentel pens have never... Pentel brush pen. I love a Pentel rolling writer. I think that's the best pen in the world. I think he says something here. That was terrifying. <laughs> Just my T-square falling down. I'm getting closer to what I wanted with the variation control, which is annoying slash awkward to do with fine liners. Yeah. Yes. I think we talked about that once. On stream in regards to Matt Allison's work in Cancor. Which is all done with uh, Micron. And my hand would break if I did work the way he did with Microns. It's ridiculous. Just like continuously going over, you know, building up that that pseudo brush line. What's good? You're back. You're back and we've moved to Lorenzo Colt.
I've been working on my line confidence this Inktober as well, trying to loosen up, to loose, to lose some shakiness. Yeah. Line confidence. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, shakiness is a weird thing, right? Because sometimes that gives you style. Sometimes that gives you the, not necessarily the look you're looking for, but can give you a look. Um, Charles Schultz of Peanuts fame uh, hated his shaky line at the end of his life. Um, hated the way he drew. Wanted to go back to that perfect that perfect line. He used to, like, you look at his 70s work and it's like insanely polished. And that was his favorite. But he had a slight tremor towards the end of his life. So you look at the stuff in the 90s before he died and there's like a little bit of shakiness to it. I love that. And most people love that shaky line. Saw a YouTube video that was essentially... Uh, so basically what I'm saying is don't always discredit the shaky line. Sometimes the shaky line adds a little bit of character. Uh, saw a YouTube video that was essentially two main points. Sketch with your inking mind and wield your pen with the confidence of a pencil. Had a big jump, I think, in my line quality after that. That's awesome. Um, yeah, I always tell people if they want to get better at inking, which is something that I asked a lot of people, and this was the what I ended up getting back, was uh, draw directly in ink. Don't, you know, don't erase. Don't have the ability to erase. Just draw in ink. And you will start to think differently. I feel, I feel like this has been a, a theme. A theme in the stream is... How do you think? What is an artist? What is the intent of an artist? And I... I tend to believe now, more and more, especially as like AI is becoming a thing and we've had conversations about that on here, but... Artists job is to think about stuff right why do you draw this way are you doing this on purpose could you just be better at it you know little things like that how does the how does anatomy work how how do we actually like what's pleasing to the eye why is that pleasing to the eye i think these are all things that should be talked about that artists should be talking about and thinking about while they're working. funny because I used to do that as a teenager quite a bit in drawing class. Yeah, thinking about what you're doing. Or inking straight to with pen. <laughs> both, both I think lend one lens to another. Right? If you are uh, if you're only inking with a pen, if you're only inking an ink, if you're only drawing an ink then you have, you have to slow down, right? You don't have anything under, underneath.
I might make a sketchbook dedicated to draw only in ink. And for something, since I have so many. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, that's a really good idea. I, I did that. Um, I have a friend who's doing that right now, and she's a really fantastic artist, and she is just dedicating an entire sketchbook to crappy uh, ink drawings. As she says, they're fantastic. They're fantastic ink drawings. That's part of the... <laughs> she's a very... She's, she's super, super good and super talented. You will get better at ink drawing if you do that, though. A hundred percent. You will get better. Yeah, love to see it. Love to see the support. The chat support. Done a few redraws of older pages in the last few, which has been really fun. I did a redraw last night of the Baboon Crew, and used the same layout and stuff, and I fell in love with it. <laughs> it worked so well. <laughs> it was... 
it's so clear looking at them side by side like how much better I've gotten as an artist how much more comfortable I am drawing those characters right By the way, I was rereading The Baboon last night. It's such a different experience and had such a different experience. I hope in a good way. I typically never do redraws. I, I find it, I kind of find it a waste of time, but this was a huge, like I needed to make something look better. <laughs> I, I needed to like update something from the first uh, Kickstarter I did to the newer, the newer version. And holy man, <laughs> it was, it was a big confidence booster to me. Maybe I should do it more often. story feels kind of raw. Uh, this is a question. Which book are you reading? Yeah. Uh, it was good. I just truly really realized there was a lot going on with the character. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad that like the characters on a second read feel bigger or feel more raw. Which book was it? That's that's my new question. Is which which book? Because I've done a I've done a few baboon books. And I don't remember. Was it like the the first baboon book? Was it Skull of a King? Muscle of Metis. Yeah. Story feels kind of raw in a way. That's, that's great. I'm glad, I'm glad that that book helps <laughs> and kind of re really establishes something that I tried, that I'm trying to do now, uh, moving forward. It's just like get a lot of emotional things raw. Yeah. A, there should be a lot going on with the characters. Each character wants something. This is a lot of text. There's a lot of dialogue. <laughs> yeah. Like these guys all have history and it's not all fun. That's, that get played even bigger in the second book. 
um, there's a history. I wanted to, uh, uh, the, one of the biggest compliments I feel like I've gotten for the baboon is they say, everyone says, this are, is this the first one? They read it and they say, well, where's the first one? And to my, like, that's how I wanted it to feel. I wanted it to feel like there's something you're coming into. It's, it's big, it's bigger. It's more established. And the way I did that is truly by <laughs> not having everything figured out when I started writing it. I would just seed information. Yeah, good. I'm glad. I'm I'm super super happy that that came off that that comes off that way. Mel is... I have some things for Mel. I'm glad. I'm glad that the relationships work. I'm glad that you like it. <laughs> Mel is about that action. It's interesting, Mel's, Mel, Brick, and Plate aren't in this new issue that much. They're there, but they're definitely not as big as players as they were in that first book. Just by how, you know, the story actually unfolded. Originally, Brick was going to have like huge role in this book but there are some really cool new characters trying to expand the world and do all that stuff but i do have a really fun mel story planned i have a fun everybody's story planned everyone has like their own their own thing
Yeah, there is a bit of a thing with metal and brick. A lot of that stuff gets put on the back burner in the second book. Because it's not, I don't know, important to the plot of this new, this new story. It's a lot more Baboon Jamie focused, I think. What's crazy is after I so I reread the book when I was starting to write this second one, and uh, it was so obviously a book about <laughs> about Jamie. This on when I actually read it. And then reviews started coming in and people started talking about it. And that was clearly the way that people took it. Uh, and that's really fun. Because I did not originally write it that way. But when we started talking about it, when people started talking about it, it really formed the way the book was. Or the... And kind of like the future of the entire comic. Right, and now, like, my Inktober comic this year is... is a Jamie book. So it's, like, just Jamie. Uh, he'll use a gun. But not really. Uh, he's much more fist-oriented. Actually, I think I wrote down that he doesn't use gun. Ever. There might be some press thing that says he doesn't use guns. <laughs> or maybe I've written in, like, lore that he doesn't use the gun. Lore meaning, like, on the page, I say. He was like, no, no guns. Uh, I don't remember if I wrote it or not. That seems like a thing I would do, though. A, a no-gun clause for the baboon. However, like, Brick is the ammunitions guy. And Clayton uses a gun.
Clayton is... Just a second. see what I actually meant. Uh, Clayton is the uh, is the baboon's best friend and the money guy. He's the business side <laughs> of the baboon. Art lover. Businessman. Former frogman. Baboon and Yes. <laughs> yeah, he's a frog man. Is that a frog, like, question as to what a frogman is? Frogman is are, are the guys in the military who uh, like fight in water. They're amphibious people. <laughs> like they can put on scuba gear and and fight underwater, and also fight on land. I wanted to make a character like Flippa Dippa. Yeah. Flippa Dippa is a frogman. <laughs> So he's just good in the water, but he doesn't do that often. Does in that first book. I did have him in the water. Yes, yes. It's funny talking about this book to people, because, like, I, I think about this stuff all the time. But at the same time, I don't, like, I don't know if it's necessary. Like, I don't know if it's necessary for 
people to have all this information. But I guess people like lore. I'm I'm so bored with lore. That it doesn't like I I, I don't care. But other people like it. Alright. This is now done. We did a page. Page 17. this Let's get this all finalized. Ink wall. Oh no! Dude, go ahead. <laughs> get get curious. This is why you. This is why I stream this stuff. So I don't have to write any of this down. <laughs> or I guess it is written down. Don't don't be mistaken. But so I don't have to like, you will have lore, you will have things now. I've just, I've only just now realized that your handwriting is so good. Thanks. Thank you. My handwriting's okay. <laughs> I do not mind the question at all, M. Rivers. I only say this to enlighten you as to my thought process. Yours is super feminine and you hate it? Try... I don't... I wish I had... A, do writing drills. <laughs> My handwriting used to look so weird. So much more different. Then I got really, really into... Uh, lettering. And comics lettering. So I would just do writing drills I'd just develop the way I like G's to look and develop the way I like A's to look it takes forever but it works It's too late. No, it's never too late. Don't say that.
You can write however you want to write. I believe in you. the same way as draw it's the same with drawing thinking of lettering as lines as opposed to thinking as lettering as letters I think will change you know if, if you look at it as images you can get better at drawing you can get better at writing because that's a form of drawing, right? It's, li it's line making. It's not how you write, how you line. worth the effort if you want to draw if you, if you want to if you want to write better or if you want to write differently was on Twitch last night watching while they were playing Alien. They played that game for five hours on stream. Like, if only. Yeah, I could not imagine streaming for five hours drawing comics. Sometimes I wish I was a video game streamer. I get to play video games all day? I get bored. I feel like I need to draw a still blows my mind. You did a 24 hour stream once? Oof, ba boof. If I had if I had a uh I guess if I was talking to, with people. I don't know. 
I get bored drawing. So like, you can only imagine. I'm hoping to have a, a good, like, telethon-style thing, maybe the second week of the crowdfunder, second or third week of the crowdfunder, just to, like, bring in guests, talk about stuff. That might be a longer stream. When I streamed regularly, I did four hours, two to three times a week. Ugh. Man. I just don't know if I have that much in me. <laughs> I get about two hours in and I'm I'm sleepy. I'm tired. Oh. That being said, we've been streaming for two hours. We got one page of Lorenzo Colt inked, and we got my Inktober for today inked. We did it. All right. I streamed once for a game jam I did in college. That's fun. I would like this. Honestly, this is my this is my first four-way into streaming with this past. You know, I guess I've been doing it for almost a year now. Um, no, that's not true. I started in February, maybe? No, maybe last October. That sounds right. Oh. Gosh, I can see my face. These lights... I need to put paper back over them. I had paper over them. I had a, a film over it so it wasn't so just white in my face. Just like, glaring. Uh, but here we are. We're good. W stream, yes. Good GGs, guys. GGs. Um, yeah. So I guess this is going to be the last little bit of the stream. I've got a little bit more coffee to drink, so I'm gonna hang out. If you guys have any more questions, uh, feel free to ask. Uh, I guess this is a time for me to plug uh, the <laughs> the second baboon book. Um, I don't know. If... I'm gonna go ahead and type that in the chat for y'all because I have a link I have a landing page now uh, so you can see the fruits of all my labor is crowd under dot com forward slash bow tie boom that should be it um yeah so that's the that's the page go check it out if you are interested in anything more Jamie Jones related, uh, Instagram is a good, is probably the best way to find me. I don't really talk about comics on TikTok yet. So can we purchase it now? No. Uh, it goes live October 18th. So it goes live next Tuesday. Um, but you can subscribe to it and you can like get a notification. So that's the way this works. Um, yeah, it is my largest Kickstarter, or I guess crowdfunding campaign. Using crowdfunder is a little different than Kickstarter. Um, it is my largest campaign uh, by like a good three thousand dollars, which is bananas. So I am I am hoping and trying to raise nine thousand dollars to print this book. Printing costs went up, gang. Oof, man. Uh, yeah. Holy man. So, that's a thing. But I'm really excited. I, I think it'll be a really good, fun time. I think the book is really good. I'm really proud of it. It's 94 pages. Um, it's... 
honestly one of the best things I've ever done, if not the best thing I've ever done. So, uh, it's a book. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a thing. It's fun now too because I'm able to like send out or send out preview books to uh, a lot of people, uh, like journalism people, podcast people, people to like hype up the book, and I get to send them a 21 page preview. A 21 page preview. 20 pages is what a normal comic book is now. Um, so they're getting a free issue of comics to like help promote this 94 page book because that's about five issues of comics, right? It's four and a half issues. And then the fifth comic or the fifth book I'm going to be launching kind of in on the, this is the plan, this plan down the line, not even that. Uh, Q1, Q2, early Q2, hoping to launch a the third Baboon volume, which will be a collection of all the short stories, plus a one issue made for the made for the book comic, and that's that's that. Finish reading Tober sketch. Bada bing, bada boom. Awesome. Bro, that's a graphic novel. You know, they're all graphic novels if they have a spine. That's my feeling on it. Um, 64 pages. 64 pages is considered a graphic novel. That's what the first baboon book is. Um, I don't like the term graphic novel, but that's beside the point. And that's a conversation for another day. My friend just sent me something on the Twitter. Oh my goodness gracious. It is the... Wait a second. Wait a second. Cuphead physical. What it does it come with? Six collectible Cuphead funny cards, Cuphead club membership card, exclusive interior art. Oh, that's fun. Guys, I love Cuphead. That's a game, if I was ever able to stream a video game on Twitch, Cuphead would be would be up there for me. I, I could actually, like, I could actually play that game on Switch. <laughs> I could actually play that game on Twitch and and it might be compelling. Um, Skill-wise. Like, I'm actually okay at it. I do have A ratings on every boss. On every level in that game. Little, uh, little gamer flex for y'all. Ooh. Yeah, so the so the third volume is a collection of short stories that is uh, a hun- over a hundred pages now, so that's super fun. I'm gonna have over three hundred fifty pages of the baboon up in the world. Have you played Trombone Champ? No, this is that game. Yeah, they're yeah that that one. It's going around on the talks. No, I haven't played that. Is it fun? Is it infuriating? This person's still using DeviantArt. Interesting. Let's go through the... <laughs> Let's, uh... You love it. I'll have to check it out. I'll see... I'll see what the game... (laughs) The game looks like. What have I been playing recently? Uh, a lot of Dead Cells, but that's... Always. That's always a constant. 
I love me some dead cells. I wish I was better at it. Um, I have yet to beat it on hard mode. I've been playing... Uh, Cyber Shadow. That's a fun game. I think I'm on the last boss. I can't beat it yet. Ape Escape on the PS4. Uh, uh, a lot of people have been talking about Ape Escape recently. Uh, or at least a friend of mine. She was talking about Ape Escape. Especially as an audio programmer who has made a basic rhythm game before. I'm going to have to check it out. I like rhythm games. Alright. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna kick this ball to the moon. I think that's the stream. I think we're good. I am a little sleepy. Ooh, rip it do. I think I'm gonna eat some food. I've got some soup that I made. Some rice, pork soup. Gonna digest that. Watch a little television. And relax. I hope you do the same. Do you have? Do you like Friday Night Funk? I've never played Friday Night Funk, but maybe, maybe I love it. It's a fun-looking game. But I haven't played it. Alright, everybody. Thanks for coming over. I, I feel like I just went back to middle school and I'm dancing with my friend Daniel in his living room. This is how we used to dance. It's ridiculous, but that's how I feel. A little loopy, a little sleep deprived, a little hungry. Thanks everybody for coming, hope you've had a great time, and like always, catch you on the flippity flip.